I don't know a lot of things that that you know, or maybe even my mom knows. You know, like just having a idea of where we came from. I didn't know we were Norwegian. Yeah, Grant was our region in Norway. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting some history for me? Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. I thought I'd well, ask him a bunch I of questions. Good. I'd like to hear some of it too, because the old Pooh's got a lot, you know. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do it another time. I love you. Today, Friday or Thursday? Today's right. Thursday. Julie's coming tomorrow. Yeah, she is. Uh, okay, so grandma, your grandma, egg brain. Yeah. And they're supposed to have met on the boat? I don't know if they did or not. Uh, that far, I don't know. Yeah. Either that or they met when they came here, I, I don't know how they, I don't know how they choose, chose a certain area, you know, in other words, somebody must have came first and said, well, that's, because they're using some solar and so on. Yeah. But, were they always in the Cincinnati area? Yeah, but they're, I got a book that tells us that they're in Baltimore. They're in. Oh yeah. They're in all of all of them. And Linda's been corresponding with one of them. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that was your grandparents. And and my grandparents. And that was your your dad's grandparents. My dad. Mother and father. Yeah. So do you know how old they were when they when they died or what year they died in? Uh, I can do that too. Uh, let's see. You, could, you come down when Linda's here, he can find all that. Okay. I know I got paid for the loss. And your my grandmother, Sarah Yusen, lived to be 97. Wow! And Grandpa, Aunt Tony, died real young, like 60 something like that. Okay. And Grandma raised 13 children. 13? I see. There's Theodore. Here's a bottle. All right. Theodore. George Herman. Frank. John. And Joe is my dad. So there's six. There's okay. six. Yeah. And the girls were Anne. Maine. Josephine. That's four, so now I got yeah. ten. You got ten total. And there was a set of twins that died. Okay. And Twelve. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of kids. There were six boys. <laughs> a lot of Z's around, ain't they? That sure is. Now Frank, the oldest, he was a Catholic priest. Okay. He went to the monastery. Seminary and yeah. somewhere. David's got a lot of stuff on him. Yeah. He was a chaplain when he died. I remember him as a kid. I was only like, oh gosh, maybe nine, eight, seven, eight, nine, somewhere like that. Yeah. When he died, he was a chaplain of the St. John. St. John's Orphanage. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, what do you remember about him? Was he a, was he a nice guy or? Oh yeah, but I, I can't remember much of him. Those yeah. little guy, but, but they were cleaning closets years later, and they found his chalice. 
Yeah. And they caught Taylor to ask the bishop if you can have it. David, the bishop says, as long as you have it, it's like a, like a little sacristy here, here, which David does. He's got a little prayer. Yeah. So that's where that chalice is. Oh, nice. Oh, it's beautiful. David and I, we had it resurfaced. And there's nice. only one jeweler that could do that. That's the one that jeweler assigned. Yeah. Surface the, yeah, the that's probably an old skill that not many people have these days. Probably so. Yeah. So, did you have a favorite uncle of all, of all those or aunt? Not really. George and Norman. Yeah. I did. Yeah, Uncle Lou, I guess. He married Ann. He had a big dairy farm on Island Pike and Covey. Oh yeah. yeah. Did uh, did they have cows and? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, ton. Oh, okay. Maybe fifty cows, maybe more than that. He had a big dairy. Yeah. And then I used to go there when I was in school. After school, I used to go out there and play with them guys Saturday weekends. Yeah. And take them. They had ponies that they could go up in the hills and get the cows and bring them in the milk. So did you did you work for them or just kind of and hang out on the I farm? I was playing on this kid. Yeah. And he had he had farmlands. Is that where you got your love for ice cream? <laughs> he didn't make it. He just sent it. His brother was John Trinket Dairy. Okay. And coming. So he just milked them and sent all the cans to John's dairy. I don't know what the process they have to do with. Did they not, so milk was in cans? Yeah, they put, they got milk cans. You ever seen a milk can? Like big, big yeah, milk can or? Two handles and it comes up and then a big, big flat lid. Oh yeah. I think I have seen those. They can throw them around. The farmers along the route used to set them out for their for a dairy truck to pick up to take to a processing plant. Okay. So with the if you were like if you wanted milk at your house, did the well, milk I could drink his milk? Yeah, but it, would the milkman would you have a can and the milkman would fill it, or did you no, have a no. bottle? Oh, well, I just had a caro. Okay. Cairo uh, uh, syrup can. Okay. That that I used to take out there two two gallon or two uh, one, two gallon not a gallon a gallon a day or something like that. But damn the barn's real long. There's troughs and there's these guys in there pumping and, and then finally they got the. Ups. Yeah, yeah. And they all pump them up, and then they, and the milk comes in the shed, and it, it runs down the cooler. They cool it and put it in these cans, and then they haul it to the to the to the to the processing plant, where they take the, the cream out, and you know, mm -hmm. where all that stuff, whatever they do. How many? He had like fifty cows, you think? Oh yeah. So how many farmhands does that mean? You like I don't know a lot. He must have had a pretty big operation. Well, he had a big place that the cow to roam on top of a bike up on a hill. Yeah. I don't know. He had fifty. He had, he had quite a few cows. There. So both Lou and Ann, and that were married, yeah. and they would send milk to your. Your other uncle, who had a like a dairy processing place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So were there other people in the in the dairy? Was that like a family business sort of? Like, were there a lot of other people involved? I don't think so. No. What did everybody else do? You mean like 
like the, they had brothers. Yeah, like what did they work at? Do you remember? Most of them were railroaders. I think he told me once that your dad was a railroad, worked on the railroad. He was a boiler maker. Boilers were the were the fire box. Right. And they burn out and they have to replace them. So that's what he did. He made yeah. fire boxes? Then when you know they were patching. Okay. I'm sure they had new ones to shove in, but they patch them. And that was a full time job? A lot of engines. Yeah. Does that mean he traveled a lot on the trains, or was it they would come into town and he would fix them? They had a roundhouse in Covey. Yeah. Circle, they put on them and send them back. He had worked with Covey and Russell and Silver Girl. Three places he had it. But then when the steam engines came in and then his part, his part phased out. Yeah. Oh, Around when did when did steam engines come in? Oh gosh, oh. Third. 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 I got I'd be guessing I don't know. So before steam it was coal? Or wait, no, coal's always involved. What was before What? Well what, what what were the trains like before steam engines? What were the trains as far? The, tra the trains. What, what did the, before steam trains? The whole fire was cold. Coal. And what did your dad do after the steam engines st started? That was a steam engine. Yeah. Then the di diesel came in. Oh, the diesel came in. That's what did. Oh, okay. The diesel, yeah. Then he was out of work for two years. Yeah. And we had a hard time. Was that at the depression? The depression, yeah. yeah. What did he end up getting after a couple years off? He, he drove a garbage truck. Oh, wow. Yeah. How did he get that job after two years? I don't know. He somebody. Yeah. He had to know, know somebody. Hmm. What did your other, what did your uncles do on the when they were when they were working in the trains also what did what were they doing? I got no idea. Just something else with trains. Yeah. yeah. George and Herman. Some kind of some kind of disease. I don't know, it was a flu epidemic or something. They both died within a week of one another. Oh wow. Don was in New York. I know he worked in New York Central in the office. Downtown. When I was uh, doing sheet metal work, I replaced the, the cornice and the gutter work on the building he was in. And what did your, what did Grandpa Anton do? That I don't know. Yeah. No idea. Oh, or or the or his wife, do you know do you have any idea what they did? No idea. Thirteen kids is a lot. Or twelve, thirteen? It's yeah. a lot of kids. They all have one more go and then come out of grade school, I think, but then them days you didn't have you could do that, you know. So they didn't even go they didn't even um, go to, like, past sixth grade or something. No? Some of them only went to sixth grade when I went to work. Wow. We got an educated country now. Real educated. We're going to have all everybody. Yeah. How how Even far did you go? Yeah. 
How far did you have to go to school? Like how? I just went to grade school, then I went to a vocational school. Yeah. Them days, well, maybe they still got them. I don't know. They do, yeah. I, I took up sheet metal and put for reading and math and welding and stuff like that. And all everything that I chose to work for me all my life. So, how did you make that decision to do to do sheet metal? You could have done something else, right? Been, well, I, I went around drilling machine companies. I went around all the foundries, and there I could have been done any. I could have done anything. Yeah. The guy next door to me was a a, a tenor. He made it. his daughter married a contractor that had to build it. Building a subdivision, and George, this guy's name is George Brewing. Anyway, he said that George could never drive, but he made the gutters up in the basement, mm -hmm. and his employees would get him in the morning and take him to the job site and put him on. And, uh, this one day, this guy quit, and then George is standing there. And I guess the guy wanted a raise, I don't know. Mm -hmm. and he said, how old are you? I said, 16. He said, well, you can work. I said, yeah, I'll try. He said, I got no driver's license of yours. Can you drive a car? I said, yeah, I think so. <laughs> he said, well, let's go down to Covey and court out. So I flunked my test, I bumped something with it. So, okay, let's go over to Newport. All right. <laughs> Went to Newport and passed, they got my license. We went to work. Nice. <laughs> and at that point, you had already been uh, studying sheet metal vocation stuff? Still going to school at night, yeah. Wow. So, what was it about sheet metal? that you were interested in? Was it just, were there opportunities for it or did you, did you just like it instead of? Oh, hell, it was big opportunities. Yeah. Number four, number one, after two years I joined the company, Zero Company. They had a non-union shop, they had a union shop. This boast the story. We uh -huh. have one man in the union shop, two men in the non-union. So we went, we joined, I got, I made a dollar an hour from Jordan. Mm -hmm. I made a dollar twenty an hour Jordan. So I worked a year there and I said, they got a couple of union jobs. So then I went and joined the union and had to take a test, test that. It's a pretty big jump. So that was so that was by the time you were eighteen, yeah. or so. So no, that would have been that, no. That, that was earlier. I did all that. I didn't join the union until I come out of the military. Oh, really? There's three years we lost. Yeah. So when you were 16, 42. you just started working for George, your neighbor. Yeah. And then? 17, 18. Uh -huh. I worked a couple of years there. Okay. And were you still living at home with your mom at that point? Chevy Coupe Rumble Seat. Fifty bucks. Okay, I'll take it. Nice. <laughs> was 50, 
Uh, Fifty dollars was a lot back then, right? But but was the how much was a car? Yeah, was that a cheap car at the time or? Probably new, 700, 800. Okay. So were you the oldest son? Yeah. Are you getting tired? Uh, okay. If you want to, if you want me to let you take a nap at any time, just let me know. You know. I'll fall asleep on you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, you're really interested. We can get a bunch of stuff, I think. Yeah. How many How many kids were you, how many kids did your mother have? Four of us. Mary Jane and Al, Al was next to me, then, no, Mary Jane next to me, then Al and her Elmer. I don't think I've ever met Al or Elmer or Mary Jane. Probably not. Al dead, died. Yeah. Everybody made it to 80 years old, though. Wow. He was 80 when he died. He smoked. Oh, gee. But everybody smoked at some point, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> like, in the 40s, it seems like everybody had a cigarette. Everybody, everybody, oh, everybody's just about a smoke. You smoked, right? When you were younger? Yeah. Grandma smoked? Yeah. Huh. How did you, how did you quit? Or why did you quit? And you'd already been smoking for how long? Not long. You've been smoking for thirty years? And then you just quit like that. That must have been hard. <laughs> How many packs a day do you think you were smoking? Oh, I just one. Just one pack a day. You know that clears up. They tell you how. Oh, I don't know. It takes so many years for that to completely out of your system. Yeah. That ain't what I got from you, Mr. Yes. Yeah. I got the uh, uh, asbestos in the workplace. Really? Yeah. yeah. I got a claim in without a doubt if I'll ever get anything. But who knows? Hmm. I had to go to physical and all kind of paperwork. We got it in there. If it works, it works. If it don't, it's over the end. Yeah. So our, um, if Al, Al is, is dead, uh, are Elmer and Mary Jane still around? No. Mary Jane died. Both Al and Mary Jane died the same year. At 05, born in the spring, we were in the fall. Elmer still there. He was here for my 90th birthday. I feel like I saw somebody, but I, 
I don't know if anyone introduced me to you know, that picture there that on the wall. The one of me and that. Uh, oh, the one on the wall of you, you two looking at. Yeah. Okay. He's the one holding me. All right. Well, he looks to be in pretty good condition. I mean, how old is he now? Oh, so he's just a young guy. What does he do? He was a radio. He owned a radio a TV shop. Oh, like a repair shop? Yeah, a repair shop. He don't do them no more. I don't know, even have them. Yeah, you just throw them away and get a new one, I think. Yeah, they get. Well, they might still have technicians or. Did he go to vocational school to learn how to do that? He got a job at there as a kid. Yeah. And, and then he ended up owning the company? And then he, the owner sold, it, sold him the company with one name of three car. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mary Jane, did she ever get married? Yeah. You never met Frank, I'm sure. I don't think so. Really? Sharon. Sharon's got a son that's... He's the doctor on... Uh, what's the hospital show? Oh, uh, like General Hospital? Yeah. He's the doctor on General Hospital. Frank? No. It's her, not her son. Oh. Frank died. Frank died. Okay. So Frank and Mary Jane's son was on General Hospital. He's on there now. He's been on there for years. Really? Yeah. What? He plays the doctor. Is that, how old is he? Like 60 or something? I, well, I'm trying to think. How old? How old was he? No. No. Forties, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So. Wow. Well, they had a very change about that. I mean, uh, when uh, she went through all this. Okay. Huh. And what did Elmer do, or what does he do? Oh, he was the TV repairman. He's what? retired now. What did Al do? Al was a bookbinder at American Book Company. He was a one of many, many, many jobs. Elmer policeman, they said, I don't know if I'm ever be in that. Then he left his family and went to Florida. The kids all went to the orphanage. So, did you ever see Al again? Oh, yeah, they came home and remarried. Yeah. Another three. I don't know, they all get along. But, um, that sounds kind of rough. Saloon for a while. It 
seems like every set of kids has a one. one. Yeah. What is? You can check that wherever you want. It seems like there's always one. Yeah. And would I, would Al have been yeah. the one? Yeah. yeah. In our family, it's Stephen. He's an alcoholic, and he can't. How uh, that is? Yeah. He's the best guy in the world doing anything. Anything all of a sudden. Yeah. And he gets started on beer that he's chilly fall. Yeah. You know, until he out. He's living with Kathy. Got arrested twice walking home <laughs> from the bar. Yeah. Just walking. Well, he stopped one day he stopped the he wanted the pizza. He went to walk down the street to the pizza place. He was loaded in. They said, we're closed. We got the, everything shut down. So he just acted real slow, like, okay. He just stood there bleeping and said, what are you going to do? Are you going to go all? Okay, well, I'll take you in. They took you in. Yeah. One time he was sleeping on a doorstep at the apartment. He couldn't find his keys. They took him upstairs that time. Yeah. That one, that's hell. I, I, I mean, you can enjoy it and have a party and have fun. But, man. So was, um, was Al... Um, alcoholic, you think? Also? Yeah, and then later on in life he just quit. Yeah. Most of them do it, they hit all with Steven to hit Mom, and then he would quit and call it out. Yeah. Well, I know Beth um, yeah. did the same. She stopped. Yeah, she stopped. She still go to meetings. I guess it really does That's run in, the fam do, in know, families. Like. It's pretty hard to do it to get up and you know, go to meetings and all that, but you have to do it. Yeah. Or you get right back in it, probably. He's the devil, ain't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You drink too much of it, he's the devil. And I drink my share. Yeah, you don't really drink anymore. Drank right, one the other day. Oh, that tastes good. Yeah. That's it. When do you, do you remember when you had your first beer? Oh, my. My dad used to turn the depression. Make homebrew. Oh yeah. Yeah. And my job was to fill the bottles. So you know, I tasted it when I was a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> how how young were you? You think? And there's a stop on it. You can keep it going. Yeah. I don't know. Nine, ten, maybe eleven, twelve. I don't know. Then we had a cap it. Find a cool place to put it. It didn't last long, then you do another batch. Was did he just make beer for his own yeah. consumption or was it just you himself know, for himself? Okay. Probably a lot of people did that. Oh yeah. Yeah, they did. Huh. So do you remember the first time that you got drunk or had a or you know had a official full glass of beer or anything like that?
<laughs> I was gonna say you. <laughs> Boy. I mean, you don't have to tell me, but. but. I don't remember. <laughs> you know, when I went to Fort Riley, Kansas, they, and they picked 100 of us. Oh, all, thousands of guys can go to North Africa as a replacement. Mm -hmm. We lost a lot of men over there. They had gunners, drivers, and, and uh, tank commanders. Anyway, we got to Chicago, and this lieutenant says, you can bring all you want to drink back. Well, I don't care if you get drunk. You know where you're going. But just don't bring any women. <laughs> Stop Camp Shenango, Pennsylvania. Wow. Drunkard skunks. I bet. Not too bad that we didn't know what was going on. Newport News and off to Africa. It took seven days and I was over there. Did you go by boat? Yes, that's uh, West Point. As America during the war, peace time. Big ship. All these chain bunks fold down. You get on top and have the tea, you've got to. <laughs> <laughs> so, were you, you guys were drinking on the whole train ride to the boat, pretty much? So that's the first time you, one of the first times you remember drinking a lot. Oh, we used to, oh, I knew, we, never, we never drank a whole lot. We had parties. Yeah. Every week then it was a go away party for somebody. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Camp Marshall Lavity. <laughs> well, I was asking you about drinking, and then you remember, and you're sort of oh, going. Oh, yeah, away. okay. I, I, there was a, uh, it's a camp, regular camp. They had mess halls and all that good yeah. stuff, you know, and, and bunks and all. And, and, and then the, they centered like the radio, and I think I listen to radio and drinking. Who did Paul Beer? And listen in the WLW. In Africa. In Africa. <laughs> nice. That must have been uh, like a one of those uh, uh, military network or something. Yeah. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty good. That's that. And how how old were you then? When I went in the army. Yeah. Wait a minute. What? Yeah, 21. So that was 1942? Yeah. Yeah. I had my first birthday in, uh, I don't know, June the 6th. I landed in Casting Lake. I had, and I was still at that camp in July. 
So I had my first 22nd birthday over at Captain White. Wow. Now you, you and Grandma were already together at that point, right? No, you weren't. No. I thought you guys had met in high school. No. But no. How did you How did you meet her? She used to come to the ballpark, and I was playing ball softball last pitch with uh, Buckways. This is after the war. All the cafe teams, yeah, had all the cafes had. And all softball teams, softball. Yeah. Now this was just just for fun, like an intramural no, it was local. Leagues, leagues, leagues. Yeah. So I met her there. You're my baby. Let's get married. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you, um, do you remember any girls that you dated before the war, before oh, Grandma? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me about one or two of them? Just, uh, just their names or what you remember about them or what you did? Audrey Russell. I knew what she wanted to be, though. She wanted to... She loved animals. Yeah. She loved horses. And I knew someday that, that she was going to get married of that, or marry him, or do something with horses. Yeah. Which she did. Audrey Russell? Yeah. Yeah. When did you Lorraine, see her? When? Lorraine. Did you ever, before, I mean, it was before the war, so was, were you ever kind of serious about one of them no, at all? No, no, you were just, way. you were just dating. Yeah. Then after the war, when you met Grandma, were you, you were, you were ready to settle down? Oh, hell, that's what I told George. I said, George, well, I was making 80, what did I say, 80 cents? Yeah, what, 190 or, with, no, with the union you were. But. Yeah, I said, George, we got to work every day. We do. He looked up at the sky and said, not today. I said, well, why not? He said, hell, I send you out a job and come back and cost me. I said, well, we got some talking to do. Because I done met the, met the gal I'm going to marry. I'll be damned. I'm going to have a better job than this. <laughs> <laughs> so I left, went to the Europe. Huh. How did you know uh, Grandma was going to be the one? What was, uh, at that time, well, let me think, okay, so let me go back to before the war. So when you were, before, when you were, you were just working with George, yeah. and b before the big world war, um, what would be a typical date that you would go on? If you were, if you asked a girl to go out or would where would you go? What would you? Well, you could go to Coney Island. On the Island Queen, the boat went up the river. Yeah. <clears throat> Come back, had a big day, all day. 
What if you didn't? What if you didn't know what if you liked show. her that much to spend the whole day with her? <laughs> there was just plenty of theaters. Yeah. There was just, Liberty was on Madison, uh, Madison, Liberty, Madison, uh, Main Street was on Main, Broadway was on. That was the cowboy show. So when you say theater, you mean going to see film, like movies? Yeah. Okay. Not, not what you Yeah. Well, that's kind of fun. And did you, did you guys ten go out? Ten cents. Cost ten cents. Ten cents? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Did you, did you like the Westerns best, or did you like something else? I used to watch the Westerns. Is that what you said? Yeah. Do you have a favorite um, actor or movie or um, what? for the for the westerns? Did you have a favorite uh, actor or person that you saw? Gene celebrity? Autry. Gene Autry. Yeah. All mixed. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> when that the dog. Yeah. And. Gene Autry always sang, didn't he? Yeah. You know, always... I don't know Tom Mix. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but then that might... I don't know what he did. So did you go, did you go out, like, dancing? And... Hell no, I can't dance. You never went out dancing with girls. Yeah, 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 no. I would have. I thought everybody did that in the in the forties. Yeah, I thought that maybe. <laughs> well, mom likes to dance. She must have gotten it from somewhere. Boy, don't she? Yeah. She's good too. Her and Larry can cut a rug, boy. Yeah. Well, I think I think it's about time for me to go. What to New York? Like for the wild. What? What's New York like? Wild. Uh, yeah. It it can be kind of wild. You can go out dancing a lot. I try to because Rachel liked to dance, but I, since we haven't been dating, I I haven't been out dancing very much. Yeah. But I'm getting. Pretty. I think what we think New York's wearing me down. I'm I'm not so interested in being there anymore. I mean, what is, it's, it's kind of like on the go all the time. Huh? Yeah. You just you gotta stop and relax sometimes. Yeah. And I'm pretty relaxed compared to most people in New York. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. And still, people, you know, it's still it's just you can sit on one and park benches and watch them. Yeah. But then as soon as you get up, somebody's waiting to get the seat. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So. Where do you have to go? Well, we have to go to that baseball game. Gabrielle's baseball game. So, I should, I should go do that. What time does that start? Uh, we have to leave at 3.30. So 3.30? I think, yeah, I think it's about 3 right now. Something like that. Do you, um... You don't have to change? No, I don't have to change. So are you... Do you uh, if you are okay with that, I'd love to just keep coming back and talk, yeah, asking you all yeah, these old questions. Yeah, you come back anytime you want. All right, cool. I got... Um, now, see, now that I've got some background about where we come from, where I come from, like all the people, the family and things... I'm really interested in knowing, um, like, uh, 
I don't know, just any stories that come up, or I want to hear more about different family members, and I don't know, I know your eyes aren't that good, but I would, I would show you some photos, and maybe, maybe you can see who's in them, and, uh, you know, the, you know, what else I thought maybe would be fun, if you're, if you're okay with it, I want to do some research, and find out historically what was happening in certain years, and also, um, like what songs were popular, and you know what movies were popular, and just kind of talk to you about them, or maybe even listen to some songs together, and s see if anything comes up, some story you might remember that you might want to talk about, or not. We just listen to some songs. You know, that might be fun. interviewed for the Library of Congress. Oh, yeah? For the Army stuff. And I never did look at their copy. Oh, yeah, we should look at that. You can look at that. You've got the other copies, don't you? So I did, yeah. Maybe it's the same thing, I don't know. All right.